Alright guys, this is JB here, and today I'm going to be showcasing off my entire wooden railway collection. Now this is not going to be just about the Thomas locomotives, this is going to be all about the uh, Brio Imaginarium or Carousel, and the Big Jigs too. So, um, I'm making this video just to like... I'm not going to do all the track destinations and scenery and props, all stuff like that. It's just going to be a waste of time. It's just going to be like just the trains, the engines, all that kind of stuff, you know. And with that said, I think a few more things to say. This isn't a parody of Wooden Railway Reviews or um, Take TMP Studios. I'm just doing it as a normal as it is. And before any of you all ask, these are the characters I'm going to be showcasing. Now I'm doing it in the order they appeared in Railway series and then in the TV series. Why is that? Because I just feel like it might be an idea just to do something like that. Oh well. And then I'm going to do narrow gauge engines, the order they appeared in, TV series to Railway series. No, Railway series, TV series, all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, let's get on with the video then. Alright, let's start here with the... 1996 Thomas, the first, uh, one of the oldest models in my collection, in fact. And then followed by a really well beat up Tom, Brio Thomas. And then a very powered Thomas, which is actually quite far the superior Thomas to all models, in my opinion. And then the uh, 2001 Thomas. This one's okay, well, oh, sorry, just go. Okay, now these two here are pretty much beat up because when I found them, I found them at boarding school and to be on the safe side, I was at seven, at around eight at the time I found these and <clears throat> I managed to get this Brio Thomas like in a lot with track and a coach, but uh, I sold off the coach, also a turntable and a couple of bridges and I found this Thomas like someone gave it to me and it was pretty bad shape, in fact it's really evident on the bottom how terrible all the scrapes and scratches. But now i come to look after these guys, so I won't do that in anymore. Other than that though, we could do with another refresh model of the Brio Tarn as well. Hope so, maybe someday, whatever piques my interest. All right, then I got the 2000 battery powered Tarmus. Like I said before, the Brio battery powered Tarmus is the best, as you can tell. They've got a switch that can go backwards and forwards. He doesn't have a front magnet and also, um. The shape's really long, not to compare, claim. I just don't like how it looks. All right, moving on, they got Happy Birthday Thomas, Mud Covered Thomas. Yeah, that surprised to face Thomas. And then the 2001 Edward, Brio Henry, my only form of uh, Henry that I own. I'd love to get the original one with the wooden funnel, painted coal someday, who knows? And, oh, before any of you ask, these are like, I know it's with this tender air, um, they have magnets, it was tender as a magnet, and Henry's tender is just like a pole holding it. Well, as you can tell, because these are the Brio Age, also I had that drawing pin, which I'm going to show, like, maybe later online, not sure. Um, I think maybe they just wouldn't add the front magnet, because maybe I guess they wanted to save money, so that's the point. And then I have this Brio Gordon, and also... I added a white running board, but as you can see, if I go back here with this 1996 Thomas, I added white running board on here. I hope they give it more detail and make it more stand out because that's uh, how I feel like it could be. Um, and then I have the 2000 Gordon. Now I have him. I can now show you up close the difference. As you can see, with this Gordon, his funnel's nice and short, whereas this Brio one's quite tall. The dome's quite small, and the big one is on the Brio, but it doesn't have that firebox thing on the original one. Well, I gotta say, it's also got those carriage chassis, but this one was much better than I thought. I don't care, guys, I admit, the face on this is superior, but I could admit, with the final touches, it would have been better if they presented the firebox on the model. Never thought I'd say that, huh? Anyway, moving on, we got the 2001 James, the Red Nose James from 2001 as well. And I thought it's just the same James, but the only difference is the face. And then, of course, 
the Brio James with the uh, correct chassis. And I also added that pin, like drawing pin on there to make it more detailed. Yeah, it's pretty good condition. And then <laughs> my 2002 Percy, which happens to have lightning strike across this side. I don't know what happened, um, but this side's okay. Um, it's, I pretty want to get a new Percy soon, depends. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to just waste my money on just too many... Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, well. I just don't want to waste my money. Just buy multiple moles on, like, a high price. And just buy them on eBay. Anyway, I got 2002 Toby. The Brio Duck, which I added a black running board on both sides to make it more realistic. And he's also got that painted coal in tender, which I added to make it more realistic. Yes, I admit. The face, so his eyebrows are almost worn out. Oh, a few scratches and large chips there, but oh well. But there was a couple of flaws, like the the original one had green wheels and the ace is too large, you know, all that kind of stuff. He also had that round roof, like the 1994, 96 he had one. I'm not sure if it's 96 if they change it flat. But anyway, and then of course the 2014 duck, which has actually grown on me because look at all that detail. I mean, I like how they added that funnel, unlike his original learning curve model, but I thought maybe it's just one of those days. I mean, then I got the 2002 big, 2003 big city engine. I gotta say, when I watched Derek's review, he did point out some really interesting flaws, like the roof not being painted black, the tender not being a foul and saying BCE, and the wheels being green. That I just wish they were black because it's more better. But anyways, 2005 diesel, 1994 Donald, which happens to have a split underneath the tender. Yeah, accidents happen now and again. Don't ask how. Uh, 2004 Douglas. 2001 Daisy, Brio Stepney, which, according to Riot Trantois, which absolutely thinks stands out the perfect wooden model, in my opinion. 2001 D261, or Class 40. And then, of course, the 2003 Neil, when... This actually says 2003, because Neil was actually retired individually 2001, but he was still available for a couple more years in the bridge and tunnel set for, like, until 2003. So... I'm guessing maybe that when Neil was retired, he was still available. But I guess that's the case because it's just one of those models that just, oops, sorry, stays out even longer when in sets, like the log car from the sawmill dumping deal. So moving on now, I got the 2001 Bill, 2005 Bill and Ben, without the original Bill, of course, <laughs> 2003 Bulko. The 1998 Soldal Railway Repair, which has to be one of my favourite wooden railway items. Of course, just look how amazing this looks. I mean, this shoot here just gets lost quite a lot on eBay, so it's a good job I got mine, like, uh, second-hand, though. I got this in a lot, though. And then the 2002 Flying Scotsman, yeah. I did, I think Wooden Railway Reviews already pointed it all out, all the flaws about it. I think Eric Pier 53, sorry. Eric Pier 53 oh, already pointed out the flaws with this model because I think it could do better, like the face not fit in the boiler. But although, anyways. Anyways, moving on now, I got the 1996 Diesel 199 that I will, that I always use for bear. And then the 2005 reintroduction D199. I think the 1996 look more like his original shape, but the face, oh well, I gotta say it's just missed the mark. Oh well. And then the 2000 Brio Oliver with outstanding detail. I just wish Brio wasn't so cheap with these models in those days. And then of course 2015 Oliver, which absolutely stands well to me because I think the detail looks really nice on this one. You guys say that, huh? Probably the best, in my opinion. And then, of course, 2011 Mavis with those six wheels. Yep, I know about those six wheel Mavis. Oops, keep stepping on my track because uh, it's not very little room. And now that's all the Rally Series characters out of the way. I'm going to be moving on to my TV series now. 2004 Derek, the odd, bland Diesel 10. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Diesel 10's a good model. 
because when I watched Hero the Japanese Trains review on Diesel 10, he did point out the flaws that he did look a bit like the Brio Daisy, although I'd only have the 2001 Daisy. But, um, <clears throat> I must admit, he could have been don't feel better, but the original one still doesn't peek out to me, but I think the 2014 one peaks better. Brio Lady, and then I got Dodge. Don't have Splatter, though. What a shame. And then Harvey, who has these... 2002 dated wheels. I actually have no idea why he's dated 2002. Well, I guess maybe that's just another opinion. Maybe he's built that year. Emily, yeah, you have to talk about her. Oh well, not much to say about this one though. Arthur, which I actually added some more detail. <laughs> then, then of course the 2013 Spencer, which actually is, I like the paintwork of this one. It just looks really like the Silver Link. And then. Molly, Neville, Dennis, Rosie, Whiff, and Silly Billy. Oh no, not really Silly Billy, but uh, that's just uh, another opinion in my way. Anyways, welcome Stanley! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just want to make up a little joke. I just feel like, oh sorry, I just feel like entertaining you with that kind of phase. And then Hank... Where's that cow catcher? No magnet up front. What a shame. And then Flora, hero of the rails. Sorry for the shaky camera. Yeah, I do think that hero could be the, I don't think hero was the first engine on Soda. I think the Soda or mainline engines one to three were the first according to hero, according to the history of Soda. But uh, I think that's just another. Anyways, Charlie with I'm not sure I'm particularly fond of this face, though. Could have done Bear, though. And Bell, Flynn, Den, No Dart, Paxton, without Norman or Sydney. Uh, no, Sydney, sorry, without Paxton or Norman. Sorry, I got the name wrong. Statford, Connor, don't have Caitlin, which is unfortunate. Maybe there'd be a good crossover view if someone does have Caitlin. Actually, no, I'm not doing a crossover view. And of course, Philip with nice detail at the front and the back. Shame about the absence of the ledge though, it could have done better. And Ryan, who actually nothing looks nothing more like a knee too, but it's more like Thomas. So the repaint of him. I say, so I think that's all the engines standard gauge wise.